Let's take a look at using Team Libraries in Figma. Team Libraries is a great feature that you can use to reuse your components across multiple files and projects and even multiple teams working on different projects. So to show you how this works, we have this bootstrap UI library of all of these elements. We have different buttons, different status symbols, and so this is the core of our design that we're going to use throughout multiple websites, apps, and different things throughout different teams. So you can jump into your project where these styles live, and the first thing you want to do is turn each one of these elements into a component. And you can do that here, create a component. But because I've already done that, we can see all of our components here. And if I right click, I can decide to publish all 258 components into a team library. And you can also just click on each one of these and convert each one to a component. But let's say I want to publish all of these components into a team library. So I'm going to click on that here. And we can see that it's publishing all of these elements. And while that's publishing, I can create a new project here. And the first thing I want to do in this project is create a new artboard. So I'm going to create a desktop artboard here. And I can jump into my team library and I can see this Bootstrap 4 UI library. If I click on here, here are all of the elements that we have converted into the team library. So very easily I can drag and drop some of these components in here and use them throughout my project. Now because we have 258 components, it can get really cumbersome to try to find these if you scroll up and down. So I'm going to use this search and I'm just going to search for a breadcrumb trail. I want to use one of these. So we can quickly start to put our design together here and we can even do some overrides with some of these team library components. For example, I have this primary button. I'm going to just change the width of this and I'm going to change this text to say click me and I'll change this to say this is a link and so we can make some quick changes without affecting the master components. In fact, I can hold down option here and I can even change the color of this button here to orange. I'm going to change the stroke to orange as well and just darken that up a little bit. And so this is still a component in the team library. I just overrode a lot of those styles like the colors and the border and even the text in this situation. So what happens if the main design needs to change and how do I do that? Well, if I'm in this project, there's no way to make that change throughout all of the other projects in the team library except for right clicking and you can choose go to master component and that's going to jump you back into this main file here and this is where we can find that master component and if I zoom in I can make these changes here so I'm going to make this default primary button I'm going to make this light purple I'm going to set the stroke here to dark purple and I can even decrease the size here I'm going to decrease it to 12 pixels and move this kind of center it here and so as soon as I do that, you can see that it's asking me to publish one change. That change isn't going to be seen in other projects unless I click this publish button. So I'm publishing this, it's telling me what's going to change, and as soon as I click publish changes, I can go back into my untitled project, and it's telling me here, there's a component update available, would you like to update this? So I'm going to hit review, and we can see this change. If I click update all, we can see that our master component here changed to purple, and we can see a few other things. The size of the text changed, but it didn't affect the text override because I overrode this text here. And also here I overrode the colors. So it doesn't affect anything that you override, but I can still default back into the colors that I chose by clicking on this instance panel and choosing reset overrides. So now I have that default purple that I changed in my library. So step one is to create the elements and convert them into components. Step two is to publish them into a library. And step three is to create a new project and jump into your team libraries and just use those elements. And you can always jump back in and make those changes. So that's just a brief overview of team libraries. It's a very powerful tool and I encourage you, if you're using multiple projects and if you have multiple people working on your team, to use this team libraries because it's going to make your life far easier in the future.